stage that they ain't gonna try no fuck shit because they already tried it in New York with low key having some of the stage wet before I even walked on, which you know caused me to fall off the stage in New York, which y'all probably didn't even notice I fell off the stage because y'all know how I do. We fall down, but we get up. You know, a bitch get right up and keep the show going. The show must come. You know, the show must continue. Um. And, you know, when I first decided to even join the tour was because they brought it to me as a co-headline, like we would be, you know, headlining together. Um, so once I kind of like, you know, signed on to do it and I started to see like the marquee or the promo and different things like, different things like that, it was just like a little weird because then his picture was bigger than mine and it was Jeremiah... Um, with special guest Tiana Taylor, da 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 da, and it's like that's not that's not what I signed. When I go on stage, that they ain't gonna try no fuck shit because they already tried it in New York with low key having some of the stage wet before I even walked on, which you know caused me to fall off the stage in New York, which y'all probably didn't even notice I fell off the stage because y'all know how I do. We fall down, but we get up. You know, a bitch get right up and keep the show going. The show must come. You know, the show must continue. Um, and you know, when I first decided to even join the tour was because they brought it to me as a co-headline, like we would be, you know, headlining together. Um, so once I kind of like, you know, signed on to do it and I started to see like the marquee or the promo and different, like different things like that, it was just like a little weird because then his picture was bigger than mine and it was Jeremiah, um, with special guest Tiana Taylor, da 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 da, and it's like that's not that's not what I signed. When I go on stage, that the whole time was just for everything to be equal and to be fair. You know what I'm saying? And um, that wasn't happening. And my first strike really was the flyers and the tickets and everything else. So I created my own flyer and stuff. And then once we got to Atlanta, it was like a lot of drama, like little sneaky shit going down. Jeremiah this, Jeremiah that. My thing is like it's awfully strange how when it's time to split some shit, everybody talking about let's split. But then when it's time to be equal, nobody's being equal. My screen, <laughs> my screen not working. My lights is fucked up. My sound is fucked up. And then when this nigga go out, his sound is perfect. It's like, come on. So then by the time we got to New York, I'm like, okay, cool. I don't mind going on. Like pretty much the last five cities has been sold out. And each time I never complain about going on first because y'all know I got Junie with me. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. And this whole time was just for everything to be equal. I'll go first. Whatever. Just as long. All, all I ask for is to make sure that everything is even. Everything is equal. The marquee, our name is on the same line. Like, I, I'm, I will not open up for him. I'm not opening up for him. It's always been clear that I was never going to open up for him. So at that point, I started to feel used. I started to feel like, you know, niggas was taking advantage and niggas was trying to play me. So I just wasn't rolling. So I let it rock for all these different shows or whatever. And then when we got to New York, it was kind of my last straw because it was like, okay, cool. If I didn't open any other, I mean, if I didn't close any other city, the least y'all could have done was, you know, let me, um, let me close New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my home city. I promoted the hell out of this tour. He only posted one time. The last time Jeremiah posted was July 12th. So if you think that that one, so I'm just like, okay, cool. These last five cities sold out. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Like that's bullshit. And I'm not rolling. I worked my ass off. Y'all see, I created my own promo videos that wasn't paid for by the label. Nobody paid for that. I paid for all my own stuff put all my own stuff together like I didn't ask them for anything all I asked them for was you know for us to be team members and everybody be treated fairly and I wasn't treated fairly at all so by the time we got to New York we all had a big powwow I expressed to them how I felt y'all know how I talk y'all know my mouth so if you y'all know how outspoken I am if y'all think that I was in that meeting just like being all calm like da -da -da -da, no I press niggas the same way I pressed them over Twitter, I'm just like, yo, it's unfair. It needs to be. They begged me to stay on and perform in Boston yesterday. They begged me. They begged me to stay on this tour. Only thing I wanted was equal rights because at the end of the day, if I stay on this tour, these last five cities, so if I stay on this tour for y'all, he still gets paid because technically, I'm assuming this is not my tour. 
So he could leave the tour and I can go by myself, but he's still going to make the bulk of the money. And I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. All money, all money ain't good money. And I'm not, I'm not, it's just, it's never that deep. And I'm not, I'm not going to have my kid in an environment like this. Like, I'm just not, I'm not doing that. We just made it to Toronto. We just randomly stopped. I don't even know where we are. We randomly stopped. And it's just like, because I was contemplating if I should, you know, finish the shows out or not. But I really can't because I'm not going to sit here and make this nigga more money for all my hard work all my merch sold out they started to nitpick talking about oh her merch is killing our shows if our shows hold two to three thousand people and the shows are sold out and i only kept at 60 meet and greets i don't do no more one of the nights i did like 100 meet and greets but really i don't pass 60 meet and greets you mean to tell me that 60 if i stay on this whole show that's bullshit. There's no way that 60 meet and greets is hurting your show. Now, had you went on first, then maybe you would have felt like you actually had a sold out crowd. It's not my fault that niggas leave after I'm done performing. And it's just like all my merch sell out. They talk about my meet and greets was the issue. The name was like, her merch is taking up too much space. How's my merch taking up too much space? You only, you sell two shirts per show. And that's that. That's that. Don't play me. Don't play me. So anyway, after, um... The New York show, which is my hometown, everybody know. Of course, I was emotional. I didn't get the clothes or whatever, but cool. I still got my rocks off. I did what I did. After the meeting, I was like, my main thing is just really about, you know, equal rights, everything being fair. Like, it got to be sportsmanship. Like, come on, it got to be fair. So everybody's begging me to stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. The whole show, that's bullshit. There's no way my thumb was bleeding everything from when I fell off the stage in New York. So that was my last straw. Um, so backstage, he talking about how, I mean, party next door. They put, um, they put uh, pepper spray in my smoke machines and blah 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 blah. Bitch, you always in some motherfucking drama every single time you go on tour with somebody. So my thing is like, okay, even if they did do that to you, if they did, now I really don't put it past you that you motherfucker didn't make sure it was water on my stage before I fucking walked on the motherfucker. My sound is fucked up. My, 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 my lights was fucked up. You got mad and changed the, 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 your set six times. You, uh, took the video, man, had him fuck up my videos to make sure your videos were straight because your lazy ass want to sit in that motherfucking chair all day talking about singing your motherfucking songs or whispering your motherfucking songs, bitch. Don't ever try me. And the part that's pissing me off even more is because we had a whole talk in New York. I was, my thumb was like, when I mentioned Danny name, I may have said it cool say no more this tour is over because bitch i don't know who the fuck you think is opening up for you we not doing that we not doing that you fucking cancel you a fucking drama queen you always in some bullshit and if y'all really want to know about danny lay i'm the only person on this motherfucking tour that has been making sure danny lay is okay while y'all niggas ain't feeding her y'all ain't getting her no motherfucking room to uh to to uh to chilling she could barely fucking shower because y'all niggas is mistreating her I was the only person on tour that told my management, and I don't even have her number. I don't know her from a can of paint. We've met a few times. I don't know her enough to take her in, but I've taken her in. I've been there with open arms. Yo, she could take one of my rooms. If she want to ride with me on my bus, she can come on my bus. Why is she in a sprinter? Why? That shit is not cool. That's not cool. Y'all treating her like shit. And I pressed all these niggas in New York. I told them how I felt. I told them how I felt like they was treating Danny badly. All these different things. For you to go to the very next show and say, shout out to Tiana Taylor for opening up for me. Bitch, you trying to be funny. You trying to be funny. No fucking shade. Bitch, don't try me. Don't try me. I work my ass off every single night, y'all. Y'all see me bust my ass. I give y'all outfit changes. I'm giving y'all vocals. Bitch, wig is falling off. I'm falling off motherfucking stages and shit. And guess what? Petunia still holds it down every single time, my nigga. And you gonna go and you gonna play me, my nigga? Like, and the sad part about it is because, yeah, I'm a mom. I'm a wife and all that, but y'all niggas already know I get it rocking. Like, I don't even know why niggas continue to play with me. I don't even know why Jeremiah or Jeremiah, whatever the fuck that bitch name is, even thought she could even rooms. That shit is not cool.